I don't do distraction. I'm coming back in. Football. Huh. Man, oh man. We back with another reaction video, man. And we got the NF. So it's like, oh. it's like got a list. Got to jump It on. says, should Dak Prescott and Lamar Jackson be placed amongst the NFL's top ten? Y'all know how I feel about Lamar Jackson. So we going to go ahead. We going to dive into it. Wait, I forgot something. Yo, what it do? It's your boys, Juice and Lil. We back here with another banger for y'all. So without further ado, bangers. Let's get into it, man. Well, actually, before we play it, their top ten is Aaron Rodgers at one, back to back MVP, I guess. Mahomes two, Allen three, Brady four, Burrow five, Stafford six, Herbert seven, Wilson eight, Watson nine. Prescott at 10. So let's go ahead. Let's see what they got to say. Let's see what they got to say. Ask about Zach. Because Zach Prescott is obviously number 10 on this list. Do you think that he should be a top 10 quarterback? Um, I think, I think he slides in right, in right around 8, 9, 10, somewhere in that category. Look, there's a lot of vitriol dislike for Dak Prescott at the position. Whenever you're drafted at a certain level, and Ryan knows this, he was drafted in the middle rounds. So he comes in in the middle rounds. He's never going to get the benefit of the doubt, no matter how well he plays. There's always going to be something. Then all of a sudden, he gets hurt. He gets the big money. The team sputters along. They haven't gone to the level that people feel when you get $150 million, your team is supposed to be at one level compared to everybody else's. So they kind of, people out in the world of evaluating these executive coaches, scouts, players, analysts, they kind of knock him for that. They give you, they push him down every single time. If you look at it before he got his money, Oh, people was jumping up and down. They, when he got on that little hot run, he was an MVP candidate. People had him in the top quarterbacks in the league, and he's going to do this and that. And then the moment that he got hurt and he got the money, people kind of forgot about what he was like. And now, all of a sudden, he's got to kind of rebrand himself again. Plus, he plays for the Dallas Cowboys. So he's going to get pushed down. But I think he falls in that 8, 9, 10 category for me. So, so here's, here's my, my issue. issue. I, think I think it's, it's fair, fair to put Dak Prescott, Prescott in the top, top 10 quarterbacks. Ten quarterbacks. I, think I think in many lists, lists maybe, maybe even in mine, if I was to do it and sit down, sit down Dak, Dak Prescott, Prescott would be a top, top 10 quarterback. quarterback. Here is here why, is why I, think I think it's unfair, unfair to have him as a top 10 quarterback, quarterback on this list, because this is the list that we're talking about, the one that Jeremy Fowler released. There is no way. No way, no way on God's, God's green earth, earth that, that there's a there's list, list of quarterbacks, quarterbacks that Joe that Burrow, Burrow, who I love, who I believe deserves to be in the top 10. Top 10. Justin, Justin Herbert, who I love, who I believe deserves, deserves, deserves to be in the top, in the top 10. 10. Russell. No, he doesn't. That's just me, though. Justin Herbert That's just doesn't me. deserve to be top 10? No. That's After just the me. rookie season, yeah? That's just me. Oh, Russell. Wasn't most touchdowns by a rookie? He hasn't done anything. Cause, it's cause, hard because that's what that's what NFL analysis based things off of. What can you do in the playoffs, right? You gotta be you gotta do something in the playoffs to be top ten, right? That's what that's what I've been hearing for the past couple years. What can you do in the playoffs, right? Has it's Justin also Herbert all talent there? too. Has Justin Herbert been there? No, but last season there was a lot of injuries for them too. What does that mean? We were injured. We were first, first in the AFC season. for a good minute. First season, they definitely could have made playoffs. Could have made playoffs. They could have made playoffs this year. Oh, yeah. What happened? That one game. That, the, that, the, the coach. Mm. Wilson, um, also Matthew Stafford, all of these guys. Very good quarterbacks. There is no top ten in the world that they belong in that Lamar Jackson doesn't belong in. Say that again, bro. Bro and Herbert. Well, bro made the Super Bowl, though. I guess. 
I guess. So Matthew Stafford, all of these guys, Say very again, good bro. quarterbacks. Say There's again. no top ten in the world that they belong in that Lamar Jackson doesn't belong in. So if I believe that Lamar Jackson belongs in the top ten, then no, Dak Prescott cannot be number ten on this list if Lamar Jackson's not in the top ten. It Facts. just can't happen. And I don't care what your what your style of quarterback play is. I don't care what you like. I'm talking about production. I'm talking about effect. I'm talking about changing an organization, and Lamar Jackson has done that. So, if Lamar Jackson ain't in this top 10, hell no. Dak Prescott can't be 10, because Lamar Jackson is in the top 8, top 7 for me, which would push Dak Prescott to 11. So, no, it is not right for Dak Prescott to be 10, because Lamar Jackson deserves to be in the top 10, which, in my top 10, I think Dak's in it. But on this list, it's wrong. See, I, I, I always separate Lamar Jackson from any of these lists because to me, he's such a special talent. <laughs> you brought the problem. Off. What, what you mean? But you didn't even let me finish, knucklehead. Let me finish before you say I brought the problem. Let me finish, RC. What I was going to say is I put him in a special box by himself because he can do everything that everybody on this list can do. They can't do what he does. He, they can't do what he do. And so in the uh, end, I don't know about that first part. What he can't mean? throw like the first four. What you mean? And that's not debatable. Like he can't throw like the like first arm four. talent or like he like can't power? throw like them. He can't put it into the places they can. The first four, five is debatable. I mean, but he was hurt his rookie year. He got hurt, and then Jamar Chase. He had a outstanding rookie season but they made the super bowl also through joe burrow's arm as well stafford seriously <laughs> i'm gonna i'm gonna talk about stafford at the end but i think her hmm. herbert and lamar's arm herbert's arm is definitely stronger no. but 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 sometimes there are games where it's not as accurate as it could be. So, I mean. I asked you this because I had this conversation on, on the radio show this morning on KJM. If I took, now follow me, he's your LSU boy, and I get it. If I took Lamar Jackson and I dropped him in Cincinnati and replaced him with Burrow, what would that look like for Lamar Jackson? And if I put Burrow in... Baltimore, what would that look like for Baltimore? I just I'm asking you as a football analyst expert that have been at this level. So I think I think if Lamar Jackson goes to Cincinnati, it changes the way the Cincinnati Bengals run offense, right? But I want you to think about this. Tyler Boyd, T. Higgins, uh Jamar Chase at the wide receiver uh, positions with Joe Mixon at running back with Lamar Jackson at quarterback. You telling me that's a team you want to play? No. Would it look different? Yes. But you mean to tell me Lamar Jackson can't throw a goal in one-on-one -on -one to Jamar Chase? Man, please. Jamar Chase wins those for him. And now you've added the aspect of Lamar running from the quarterback position? That changes that team? And I think they're just as good. I think they have an opportunity to win the Super Bowl the same way they do with Joe Burrow. No. You put Joe Burrow in Baltimore, I believe that team is still good. I believe the offense looks a little bit different. I believe the passing game takes a step up. Hey, hey. if Joe Burrow's a Baltimore, I promise they're not going to be good. I, I I promise that they probably like a 500 flat team. But, like, y'all, then the Ravens are run first, though. So, really, Burrow, there's a lot of less stress on Burrow because, like I said, run offense first. So he doesn't really have to do a lot in that terms of sense. But y'all still got top five tight end, Mark Andrews. And uh, last, If you're talking about last season, I mean, Marquise Brown, he's, he did, wasn't that his best season last season? He was second in the league in drops. Okay, but what was that? If you're looking at his yards and his career stats, that was probably his best season last year. It was his best season, yeah. And most targeted yeah, season. It was. But he was um, still second in drops. Who? Uh, I don't even. Devin Duvernay was y'all second best? Or was it Watkins? Our wide receiving core was 
Hollywood Brown injured Rashad Bateman. And he was he looked good when he came back though. But injured Rashad Bateman, old Sammy Watkins, Devin Duvernay, James Porsche, and Miles Boykin. Who what name a quarterback that's gonna do do good with that receiver? I court? think I think yeah, the Bengals would be better. They would be a, a new style offense with Omar, more dynamic. But I think Burrow in some games where you need where you need a Lamar to throw the ball, especially in the past, like against the Chargers in the playoffs, the Titans, I think Burrow would be able to get those games done. But the O line problem is gonna be That really the same. wasn't a you know, O line wasn't that bad though. It's against close. the No the last the problem, year? Oh well, yeah. Last year, I'm talking about the playoff. Those two playoff 2019? games. 2019. Oh, 2019. Those two playoff games. It was really the Chargers. They ran a lot of nickel defenses, trap with Mar, because you know he would just run out the pocket fast, so it would have speed on speed. And then with the Titans, I mean, Derrick Henry abused y'all on defense. That's really why. And Lamar, they couldn't get anything going on offense. <sighs> but they also implemented what. The Chargers did a little bit with the speed on speed corners and not letting Lamar leave out the pocket. Yeah. You can't do that with Burrow game plan back there. So I think, I don't know if, I think it would be more competitive. I I wouldn't say they beat the Titans just because Derrick Henry was really good that playoff run. But I think they definitely beat the Chargers. For sure. With Burrow. 100%. That season, that's what I think. Well, I mean, but you can't. That's that's Ricky Lamar. Yeah, yeah. Y'all weren't supposed to be there, but yeah, y'all got there late. Yeah, I mean, we gonna see how. This is but there is no Jamar Chase on the outside that you can do, that you just know. Hey, Jamar's down there somewhere. There is no T Higgins on the other side that when Jamar Chase is double team, you know it's gonna win every one on one. So now we're gonna see Joe Burrow's numbers be a little bit different. Joe Burrow have to lead a different rate. Joe Burrow have to move around in the pocket in a way he didn't necessarily have to do in Cincinnati. Will he be good? Absolutely. I believe Lamar Jackson is Lamar Jackson no matter where he. He is because we've learned he's actually isn't dependent on his skill players on the outside to make him better because of what he can do that other people cannot. But the problem is when we start putting Lamar Jackson in special categories, when we do that as analysts, you know what also happens? It justifies the people that says, oh, he's a running back. No, oh, no, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. Hey, Lamar no, Jackson. No, no. But mm, you know me. how they twist the word. I'm not saying you are, Keyshawn. Yeah, I'm I know saying how they that's twist the way it. words are twisted. Yeah, You absolutely. know what I mean? I think Lamar Jackson is a top seven QB. I think Lamar Jackson Man. is probably higher than that when you look at what he's done overall for a team and the way that he's contributed and the amount he's contributed to offense. We got to stop moving the goalpost and not you, Key. I'm talking about us as the media, us as from a perception standpoint. We got to stop moving the goalpost when it comes to Lamar. Right at first it was, you can be great in the regular season, now win a playoff game. He wins a playoff game, you can be great in the regular season, win a playoff game, now go to the Super Bowl. And when we look at his draft class, Josh ain't been the one. Baker ain't nope, been the nope, one. Nope, Sam nope, ain't been the one. Nope, Josh nope, Rosen ain't been the one. Nope, and nope, none of them nope, have an MVP like him. We got to stop doing this. I get it's unorthodox. I get it's not as familiar as the way quarterback play has been for decades. Thanks for watching ESPN. Put that list back on. I was, I was about to say, yeah. So let's, let's look at this real quick. Where's it at? Where's it at? Where's it at? Where's it at? Dang, where's it at? Okay, okay, okay. All right. Here's my issue. For 2022. Okay, so for 2022. I know I said Herbert shouldn't be top 10. He should be. I was just going based off my emotions. Herbert should be top 10. Why is Deshaun Watson here? <laughs> it says for 2022. Why is Deshaun Watson here? I'm confused. Bro, he played a year and a half of football, and he's probably not going to play this year. That's true. And he's top 10. Why? You're telling me that a, a, a two and a half year missing Deshaun Watson is better than, than Lamar Jackson. 
Last scene played though, his talent was better than going, Lamar's. Why are we going by last scene? Play? I'm just guessing because I mean that's I mean that's the only reason I could and think here they would off, have him on his on his on his list. And let's get this no, last time they played was Lamar's MVP season. I'm that talking about no, no. Play. I'm talking about yeah, him play not against each other. I know. I'm saying that, that we seen him play. It was Lamar's MVP year. So talent wise, he was not better than Lamar that year. I don't know Deshaun Watson owners off the strength. Deshaun Watson should not be a top ten quarterback. He's, he's going farther though than Lamar. He's going in the playoffs. Okay, I'll give him that, but he had DeAndre Hopkins. Oh my gosh! But how is that his fault though? Deshaun Watson. Yeah, he he got drafted that team. Okay, yeah, he went farther than Lamar Jackson, but he hasn't played in a year and a half, and is going to probably miss another year. Yeah. Why is he top ten in anybody's list? And if we go about talent, Lamar Jackson should still be on the list on on top ten because of his talent. Because what what he say? He can do stuff nobody on this list can do. Josh Allen's up there. What he can do. It's just not as fast. He has more rushing touchdowns than Lamar. <laughs> That's... You know what? I'm going to... But <laughs> my list, personally, I guess... I haven't mean it says 2022. So it has to be this... It has to be going into this season. So from what I've seen, I would put Brady at two... Because, honestly, I feel like he should have won MVP last year, even though A-Rod's my boy. Right. But Brady had the most touchdowns and passing yards for a quarterback. And, uh, you know, everybody's going to pull the, he's 45 doing this, blah, blah. I'm surprised they didn't pull that for him to win. Yeah. So, I think he should be two. Josh at three. Patrick Mahomes at four. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Burrow five. Herbert six. Lamar seven. Everybody else moved down one. Well, no, take Deshaun out and put Kyler in. And take Russ down one. So it would be just my my bottom five would be Herbert six. Lamar seven. Kyle, Kyler, eight, Wilson, nine, Dak, ten. I agree with your top five. Your top five was Rodgers, Brady, Mahomes. I don't know. Allen, Stafford Burrow. had a good year, though. I think Stafford is six. Give me Lamar, seven, Herbert, eight, Wilson, nine, Dak, ten. That's mine. That's <sighs> I don't know. I feel like Stafford, I mean, he couldn't really do a lot in Detroit in terms of winning. So I don't, I really don't know how much they value winning here because this is Stafford, Stafford's first time winning a playoff game with the Rams. But he did win a Super Bowl. So, I mean, that I, I can see why he's at six here over Herbert. But Wilson, been the two Super Bowls. So I really don't know what the what the executive coaches and players. I I really think it's based off, like I said, talent. So that's why I think Omar should make the list, at least make it. And I and then that's also why I think why the Sean Watson here because of talent. So I don't know. Who we'll, we'll see what happens this year. Yep. Uh, Watson plays. I know he's beat what twenty out of the. 24 civil cases already, so he still has four pending. So we'll see how that goes. And, yeah, I mean, it should be interesting for Lamar coming back healthy and the whole Ravens team actually coming back healthy. So we'll yep. see. We'll see if he's challenged. And also, you know, he got balked up with Lamar on Instagram. Bro, they, they, they – Man, I would have thought he was on steroids or something. But nah, that's hey, funny. I think that's going to wrap this video. Who do you guys, what's y'all's top 10 list? Let us know down in the comment section. But hey, until the next video, 
It's your boys, Juice and Lou, and we out of here. Peace.